So engineering for me is a career where you can have a direct impact on people's lives and society on such a large scale. When we think about our fundamental needs as humans, such as food, clean water, shelter, security, and access to education and healthcare, engineering is involved in providing all of those. Since joining ARP, I've worked on city shaping projects, including a new airport building in Mexico City, deep underground stations in Saudi Arabia, and an elevated station in Canada. I've also worked on the design of buildings in Ireland, the UK, and Peru, as well as development context projects in Uganda, Rwanda, and Bangladesh. During my time with ARP, I spent three years on assignment in ARP's Toronto office. While I was on assignment in Toronto, I worked on five different rail projects. I was involved in the structural design of five rail stations, two train depots, 11 traction power substations, and eight deep underground shafts. Rail projects are technically really complex and challenging as you're trying to design and construct a large piece of linear infrastructure around the constraints of an existing city while also minimizing the impact to the public. Currently, I am the lead structural engineer for the concrete works of a four-story building to extend the capacity of Mallow General Hospital. This project has been fast-tracked through emergency COVID-19 legislation and as a result, this has made the design and construction a lot more challenging than a traditional build. One of the most rewarding aspects of my career has been seeing the direct contribution that I have made through my work in reducing the inequalities in the world alongside the wider engineering community. In 2017, I travelled as part of a group of volunteers to a remote community in Rwanda for a bridge construction project. During the rainy season in this community, their access to healthcare, markets and school is completely cut off. So for me, this project was a pivotal moment in understanding the impact that engineering can have on people's lives. Another project I am currently working on is Peru Reconstruction Project. Following on from the devastation of the 2017 El Nino event in Peru, the government of Peru signed a government-to-government -government agreement with the Department of International Trade in the UK for the reconstruction and retrofit of critical infrastructure and buildings. ARP are working as part of the UK delivery team alongside MACE and Gleeds, who are working directly with our client, Peru's Authority for Reconstruction with Change in delivering this project. I have been working as part of the education team on the reconstruction and retrofit of 74 schools across Peru. In its first year of completion, this will impact the lives of 47,000 children. I also believe that working with communities closer to home is just as important. Last year, during the lockdown, I set up a sixth year mentoring program with a school in Cork City in partnership with Business in the Community Ireland. We had 17 volunteers from ARAP mentoring Leaving Cert students one-on-one -on -one through a really challenging year. As well as this, I've been involved in promoting STEM subjects and careers to students in schools across Ireland. The biggest misconception about engineering is that it's not a compassionate career. We work as part of large multidisciplinary teams on projects that directly impact the communities that we live in. Empathy and compassion are two key skills that any engineer needs in order to deliver a successful project. So for me, it's a profession where your work is both impactful and meaningful.